Hey guys, it's Bear McKinnon here. Um, I'm here to uh, congratulate you on surviving 2020 so far. Crazy year, crazy year. Um, I mean, I'm only 30 years old and I look like I'm 50 because it sort of shows you how rough this year's been. Um, so we have this thing called the uh, the High Castle Tell Orchestra that we we can't wait to sort of like put out into the world, and, but we need your help. Um, and we're slowly working towards uh, our first single, and, the, and we're uh, on this journey towards our first full-length LP, and um, and it's a cast of kooky characters from uh, all over the place, um, on different continents and whatever, and um, I guess I'm the Australian contingent? High Castle Telly Orchestra was initially born out of remote collaborations between myself and a Louisiana guitarist named Chris Bogan, a guy who was at first a fan of my music and had reached out via email and we sort of got to chatting and we've been collaborating on a daily basis ever since, but we have yet to meet in person. It's kind of funny considering the enormous amount of work we've already done on some of these recordings. Chris is an amazing guitarist, tasteful, less about playing a million notes per second and more about classy tones, vintage equipment. He's got a solid foundation in like blues, jazz, rock, surf, and uh, Chet Atkins style guitar playing. We have a lot in common, both being working stiff dads and family men with kids. Uh, we form the foundation of the daily communication in the group and the sort of uh, command center. Chris and I had already been working on music together for several months when the global pandemonium started. At that time, I had the idea of sort of putting together like a remote ensemble or like a quarantine band that could make records with musicians uh, stationed in various locales. Um, we didn't need to embellish much, maybe add like a twist of dystopian sci-fi type of narrative. Um, we could tell the story of living in a world with uh, extreme restrictions and oppression imposed by the authorities. A world on the verge of doom from every angle and severe political unrest. See, no hyperbole necessary. Um, our musical activities would be seen as sort of like undesirable or some form of resistance by the powers that be. In order to evade uh, being entirely rooted out in one fell swoop, we could broadcast remotely from like secret studio caves in various corners of the world to sort of like decentralize our operation and hopefully preserve it. We're huge Philip K. Dick fans, and some of his work will serve as the basis for the narrative in our first couple LPs. To fill out the roster of this group, I thought about soliciting some of the amazing musicians I've had the pleasure of working with over the years, and that perhaps I could dupe some of these virtuosos and savants into joining this all-star prog midlife crisis quarantine band. Yeah, that'll sell them. Dave Murray, uh, hailing from and still residing in fiery Southern California, makes up real interesting drum beats, polyrhythms, and is also a great composer uh, in his own right. Um, of course, he adds the death metal component mixed with the jazz, prog, fusion, uh, maybe more so than, wait, has any other drummer ever done all that? Um, he was the driving force in the stratosphere for that particular metal element. And the interesting thing about the death metal in the stratosphere is that we, we use metal as more of a dynamic than an aesthetic to live by. Most bands are either metal or they aren't. Uh, it's us, it was more like we could turn this Greek song metal at the end, or this Bulgarian tune would sound really good as metal. Um, we will use his metal influence in sort of the same way as a dynamic possibility for the song, so probably not any lyrics about dead fetuses or autopsies or whatever. Yeah, I was excited to join the Tell Orchestra with the um, invitation from Tim. Uh, he contacted me about drums 
to a kind of like a German sounding waltz piece that had all sorts of tempo shifting type stuff and I just knew right away he just wanted me just to go crazy and uh, inject some metal you know so uh, and that is what I do uh, sometimes it was a lot of fun and uh, especially when you put the guitars to it it really came together it sounds amazing uh, working with him Chris Bear again but also just especially you know Tim and Timba and reuniting kind of the Astratosphere stuff is really special. Um, a lot of us haven't worked as a team for quite a while, so it's, this is really special. The music is similar. It's, uh, you know, the, the complicated compositions that are even deeper, you know, uh, than, than they probably were in the past. I know Tim and Chris have had a lot of time in basements you know, just working out some crazy stuff, and um, I'm I'm really impressed with what I've heard them pull off, production-wise and composition-wise. It's very exciting for me to announce that our Tele Orchestra has three original Astratosphere members in it: myself, violinist, violist Timba Harris, and original drummer Dave Murray. It's been quite a while since the three of us have joined forces, maybe getting close to 20 years, so this is pretty cool. Um, Timba Harris, as you know, um, is an amazing violinist, violist, plays trumpet, uh, he's a composer, and just has an amazing musical mind. Uh, he and I have worked for literally thousands of hours together on Astratosphere Records. Um, I love working with him, some of the fondest memories of my life, honestly. Um, it is so good to have him in the fold again, even if he is broadcasting uh, from the south of France. Bear McKinnon, uh, originally from Northern California, but has been living in Australia for almost two decades. Of course, he played Mr. Bungle, which was so important to my musical development when I heard them in high school. I went from playing glam rock to Nirvana type of grunge stuff to all of a sudden Mr. Bungle and my entire musical life was completely changed forever and always, and my father never forgave me for it. Um, the only time I ever got to hang out with Bear was when we did a month-long uh, tour with the Stratosphere and Secret Chiefs, and he was playing uh, keyboards and sax and flute for the Secret Chiefs, and I was playing bass um, for both bands. Um, he is, he's such a um, friendly person, he's got such a quirky sense of humor, and an incredible uh, multi-instrumentalist composer. Um, in a way, I feel like he's a real unsung hero in Mr. Bungle, because it's a group that is so crowded with musical geniuses. It's pretty easy to get lost in there. Um, he has gotten a chance to shine on his own with his Australian band Umlaut, uh, which is super awesome, and if you haven't checked them out, please do. Um, he has so many musical ideas, it's such a unique uh, perspective on things, it's truly an honor to be working with him um, and get the ability to showcase some of his tunes and likewise have him perform on our tunes. Stian Karstensen, a Norwegian virtuoso. Um, I met Stian when his band Farmer's Market came to tour with the Stratosphere in California in 2002. Thanks, Randy! Uh, touring with them was thrilling, but also humbling. Uh, I would liken it to Rocky IV when the Russian boxer Ivan Drago came and fought Rocky's uh, friend Apollo Creed, and by round two, he had beat him to death. That is how it felt. They were that good. Um, if you haven't heard Farmer's Market, where have you been hiding? And do yourself a favor and go check them out. Um, Sian is a virtuoso uh, accordionist and multi-instrumentalist who specializes in Bulgarian music, jazz, and just about anything else you can imagine. Uh, check this guy out. 
So my name's Chris. Uh, you probably never heard of me, don't know me. That's because Tim drafted me off the streets for this gig. Um, maybe because usually when you get a bunch of well-known people together and make a super group, it usually sucks. So I think I, I make a good scapegoat. Like if this thing sucks, you can blame me, Jack. <laughs> So yeah, it was a perfect time to do a remote type of uh, musical adventure that um, Tim and Chris started. I was really excited to get involved in something creative uh, with all this quarantine time. So if you're a fan of this type of music or were a fan of Astratosphere and uh, some of the other bands, Bungle and Farmer's Market and the other contributors. Um, you know, check out the Kickstarter, um, various contribution options. I think there's digital downloads, even t-shirts, bonus tracks, alternate mixes, other swag. So uh, thanks for listening. Um, yeah, so we, uh, we hope you like it, and it's some of the coolest music that I've been able to be involved with lately. Um, Tim Smolens is sort of like, is the sort of the architect, um, evil genius behind the whole thing, and we got people bringing in some beautiful tones and ideas from all over the place, and anyway, I can't wait for you guys to hear it, um, so hopefully you jump on board with us. and. Um, we can figure out how to straighten my hair and my teeth at some point. Please?